when doing an exercise or an activity the way the required energy is developed. Depends on the intensity and the period of activity. Based on that our body develops energy in three ways. This could be explained as follows. Here, adenosine triphosphate ATP, turns to adenosine dophosphate ADP, and other phosphate release as energy. And another phosphate combine with ADP and make another ATP. This process can generate energy uninterrupted for 10 seconds. Energy is produced by glycogen in the muscles and liver and glucose in the blood. Lactic acid is produced as a byproduct of energy generation. It is best to do simple exercises to remove this deposited lactic acid. Activities such as walking, cycling, etc. are suitable. At the beginning of any energy production, glucose transforms to energy under the glycolysis method. Afterwards it goes through cycle by the name of Krebs cycle and uses the oxygen and fatty acids to develop energy. Thereafter it will enter an electronic transformation chain through ATP. ATP synthase which will then be able to develop energy for a long period of time uninterrupted. Aerobic energy production means the production of energy with oxygen. Energy can be generated in 2 to 45 minutes during long periods of activity at very low intensities. Glucose, protein and fatty acids react with oxygen to produce energy. As a byproduct of this energy generation process, carbon dioxide and water are released. 